I definitely noticed the owl. <laughs> he is a mood, isn't he? My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wind Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, today is a good day because I had an offer accepted on a house. Um, so that was the news I got this morning. I'm so, so thrilled. Um, we are, we they accepted our offer at asking price, which is crazy because the last two houses we had to um, actually offer over and then we got outbid. So this was really exciting and kind of unexpected. I never in a million years thought we were ever going to get a house. I was starting to get really discouraged, but oh, we finally got one. So closing isn't until the end of April, but we have a place so that makes me really happy um, and you guys will of course see it down the road but we just got news this morning so that's fantastic um, we are going to be doing a little bit of goodwill today um, and then we're going to carry that over to antiques marketplace of Lemoyne um, so let's get shopping here we go okay well I decided today I was gonna start in a different aisle than I normally do so we're gonna start at the end and work our way towards the beginning which is the clear aisle Dagny and I picked this up the other day. I guess this is a Dorothy Thorpe Sugar. It's a, um, a lidless sugar. I don't think there's much resale value in just the sugar, though, unfortunately. It's got a lot of chipping on it. Kind of like the looks of this cat. Of course I do. It's $2.99. I'm just going to knock that over while I'm looking at it. <laughs> I mean, he's really cute. He doesn't have a lot of resale value. He's $2.99. But he's wood and he doesn't require a lot of packing materials. So I'll stick him in there for $2.99. I thought maybe that vase was something, but it doesn't look like anything special. This little resin cat is really cute. What's this over here? Hmm. That's kind of a nice looking mug. I like the design of that. It's $2.99. It's marked Hander Bite. So is that what it says? Because that would mean handmade. I'm sure I mispronounced that, but you got the gist. There's some blue willow. Looks like the whole set is $4.99. It's marked Japan. And we've done well on our blue willow lots in the past, but I don't know. Looks like one of the dinner plates is missing, otherwise it's a set. I'll pick that up. It'll probably be auction. <laughs> Alright, one of these days. What is this creature? <laughs> it's a bird. <laughs> oh, that's a shame that's broken. These stamps have been here for quite a while. Look. Take a cup of kindness for old Lang Zine. Unfortunately, we do not have a lid. The missing lit conspiracy. That's pretty. It's a Noma. Hmm. I feel like we've looked at that before. That's really pretty. Looks like it was painted in 2003. March France. Wish there was more than one. It looks like the resin sculptures are taking over the Goodwill. Foldscraft Snow Village. Is that a cookie jar? Oh, twenty dollars on that. Wowzers. I wonder what that is. I guess it would be a cookie jar. I like that the price on the side of it is actually $6.99. <laughs> wow, that platter looks amazing. The turkey platter. 
Yeah. But look at all the damage around the edge. That's a bummer. This looks like a potato. <laughs> potato wall pocket. That's different. Is there a shelf sitter? What are those? Earthenware and the Goodwill stickers right over it, so I'm not gonna be able to make it out. Those look like Fitz and Floyd coquille pattern. No, they're not. There's something else. This is what I was looking for. I'm afraid to touch it because I'll probably end up covered in glitter. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh, this is cute. What is this? Something Canada. I don't know anything about that, but I do know something about something over here. So I'm going to take you over there. <laughs> $3.99. What's wrong with it? Is that the wrong lid? It is the wrong lid. That's what's wrong with it. For the butterfly paperweight. Hmm. Maybe I'll take that. I don't think that that music box back there is Hummel. I think it's made to look like it's... Oh, it's broken. Okay, so we found a few things at Goodwill. It was kind of anticlimactic because um, we're a little bit later in the day. But we are now at Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne, and we're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Okay, here we go. All right, so my goal today is to kind of see what has been restocked after last week when we had the meet and greet. Um, I feel like there's got to be more new goodies here, and uh, I'm determined to find them. All right, so we are going to check out this booth and see if there are any new treasures. They seem to restock pretty often, so here's hoping we find something new. There's some cased glass. Blue glass, silver, metal vase. Hmm. It's $30 and 25% off. I just have a thing for cased glass. I don't know what it is. The cobalt is beautiful too. I might peel the sticker back and see if there's any uh, markings on it. No markings. It looks like there is some sticker residue. And I don't see any silver markings either, so I think it's likely silver plate or something like that. But it is a beautiful vase. And I think that's a good price down here in the case there is some iridescent glass green iridescent glass small chips which are likely flea bites let's pull that out I don't see any markings on it it does have a really nice iridescence to it I kind of see a I think that's a mold seam though you can see the two lines on either side this pair for $35. Gosh, I feel like I'm losing my voice. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm afraid to like, I guess I'll sit it down. I don't know how that comes off, but I kind of like that. The pair, there's actually two of them for 35 and 25% off. I feel like it's a pretty good deal. They're very decorative and ornate. So we'll take them. And there was one last vase I wanted to check out before we leave this booth, and it's this one down here. It looks like that's kind of a faux um, crackling. Let's see what it says, 55. Venetian. Oh wow, look, it does have some age to it. Old Hall. Hmm. I've never heard of that before. That back there.
there is Royal Dalton. That's beautiful. Looks like the price on that is one twenty-five, and then uh, twenty-five percent off. I might pull that out. All right, so I pulled this out of the case. Um, it's one twenty-five, twenty-five percent off. It is marked on the bottom. You can see there's some incised marks there. I don't know. I'm kind of going back and forth on it, but I think we'll just grab it. So I was drawn to this booth because of this bird down here. I feel like we've maybe looked at him like a while ago. He is Royal Ducks. I know that's not how it's pronounced. Um, but look at him. He's got so much character to him. Oh, there. There's, there it is. Marked. See that little pink triangle? Now he's $145 and they're I don't believe there's any discounts on this booth, so unfortunately, I don't think there's very much room for me, but he is absolutely adorable. And over here, I was noticing this fan vase. It has a goose on it. Sakura wear, painted made in Japan. I really, I think I'm drawn to the bright colors, and the inside is a peach luster. The price on this one is... $25, and I think, um, I think they might offer 10%. We'll find out when we get up to the front, because I think I'm going to take that with me. Look at that, it's actually 20%. <laughs> All right, then. Um, over here on top, I love the color of this, and, uh, red, oh, it's Red Wing. $95. So I don't know much about Red Wing. So I'm not all real that confident paying that money for it, but it is beautiful. That is an adorable music box. Swan Lake. It is Japan. $20. I kind of had a suspicion it was Japan. It really does look Henri, but I, the detailing is just a little off to be Henri. And, uh, sure enough, it's made in Japan. And she's just so sweet there with her little birdies and her mushrooms. <laughs> so, that's a yes. This vendor always has really fun little kitschy uh, trinkets and stuff, and so I love looking through here. Um, this is where we got the poodle and the kitty with the fur. <laughs> Looks like there's... Little anthropomorphic salt and peppers. This little couple is really cute. And they have their bench. A lot of the times I find them and they, they don't have their bench. Oh, look at a little mushroom plate. <laughs> $16. Looks like a vanity. Will be a vanity dish because the bottom is flat. I really like the mushrooms. Um, Sixteen dollars. She is running a twenty percent off sale. Um, I think I, I'm going to buy them because they're, they're not very common. I mean, usually you see all the flowers and the florals and all of that. Um, you don't typically see mushrooms. So, <laughs> got that and then this. That's really pretty. It's more talky. I believe that is hand painted and the gold that they've added is beautiful the way it shines so $20 on that I don't typically buy Noritake but I really do love the design of that the last time I was in here I found a fairy light um, this time I'm noticing this what is this? Hmm. It's kind of a, um, like an alabastro glass. I like the little handles on that. I, honestly, I don't know who makes this. $35, 20% off. Hmm. Those little, those little hands are doing it for me. Those little, those little curly, cute arms. 
Um, that's definitely an interesting design and color of glass. So without knowing who it is, I, th I think I'm still going to do it. <laughs> it could be something great. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> what is it? I mean, obviously it's a hippo. Anthony, California, USA. Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. I can see why he's only $10 though, because he is uh, missing one of his ears. Wow, look at that. I mean, it's only $10. It's a shame that he's missing his ear. But the detail on that is just amazing. And I know house hippos are really popular right now. And I feel like he would make for a great house hippo. Okay, well. I definitely noticed the owl. <laughs> he is a mood, isn't he? Um, he's $35. And I, I believe this booth is 20% off. I'm almost certain it is. Um... <laughs> I mean, I'm feeling him, though. And I feel like at 20% off, there's some money to be made there. Come here, little guy. <laughs> All right. Pretty neat shade. I kind of wonder how old that is. Looks older. It's a clip on shade. Ten dollars. Is it a mouse or is it a bunny? I think it might be a bunny good for Easter. Cool embroidery and I love that his face is fluffy. You know what? He kind of also looks like an alpaca so I'm not really sure but the carrots are telling me he's funny. <laughs> so um, he is 10 bucks, 20% off. This daisy tray is only $6.50. Looks like it's vintage. I mean for only $6.50 there is a little bit of a uh, stuff on here that I don't know if maybe something hot was set down on it, but um, I'm really digging the daisies for spring. Here's a really kitschy little fish. The price on that is $12 and it is 20% off. I think this is one of those chokeware fish that everybody goes crazy about. Um, usually there's a few of them, and I think they have little bubbles to go with them, but this is just the fish, but I think I'm still going to pick it up because, you know, maybe somebody broke their fish and they want a new one. <laughs> that line is still here. He was here the other day. Oh, those are neat. Mid-century stacking canisters. Some Pyrex in here today, too. There are a few things in this booth that are jumping out at me right now. Uh, one of them is over here on this shelf. Joyce Morris Pottery Mug. Look at how expressive that face is. I don't think I've ever heard of that artist, but it's $20. Let me grab that. Let's see what the discount is. 30% off. So that would be $6 off. I'll pick that up. And then the other one was this over here. Cat Wall Plate. $18. see what this is. Nail our design. Did we look at this the last time? This is deja vu. I think we did. <laughs> I mean, it's only 18 bucks, 30% off, even though it is contemporary and it probably came from TJ Maxx. Cats sell and that's a really funny, really funny, really fun cat. It's a fun cat and a funny cat, I guess. So we're going to add those to our basket. Sign on those coasters is great too. NT hand painted. Not sure. I just came over here to look at what the sale was on this booth. <laughs> That's fantastic. So this is 20% off in here, and I'll show you what I noticed back in the case. This 
bunny plate down here. Now this actually is, I believe, by the same artist um, that did the picture that I picked up the other day. Um, this one is 160 We paid only $60 for the picture. Um, but this one is 20% off. And I think that might be worth it. I mean, we have the picture. And um, Karen Howell. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll take that with us. When I stood up, I noticed that there is also a bunny in here. Pen Woods Pottery, twenty-eight dollars. It's a red bear. Very sweet little bunny. Um, that is going to be great for Easter. So I'm kind of gravitating a little bit towards bunnies these days because I've got Easter on my mind. That is really pretty. That's a cruel, I think. But I love the way it looks layered. They have $40 on this. That's an amazing price for that. It's the detail. It's these little wispy florals. And there is a discount on this booth. 25%. I feel like I would be stupid to leave this behind even though I'm like, I, I don't need more artwork. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, so this would be 30 bucks at 25% off, and I think I'm gonna take it with me. Poppies on that, $20. The gold handles are very vibrant. Framed prints. Here's an entire console set. $20 for that. <laughs> Just like I don't and you don't need it. Um, I do need it. <laughs> I love the green. And $20. Oh my goodness. Now the real reason I wandered into this booth is actually back here. It's this blue bird. Are you going to come out easy here, buddy? Hmm. $24 for the bird figurine. I can't really tell what he is. I don't know if he's a kingfisher. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I think I'm gonna take those and this and the artwork. Oh my gosh, look at this Flemish pyrography box. I don't think I've ever seen one that large. Uh, we actually found some um some Flemish art company blanks that had not been burnt yet from, you know, Victorian era. So that was really cool. But this one is absolutely beautiful. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I've seen one that large before. $50 and 20% off. Oh, that's beautiful. I think I'm going to pass on it today, though. Okay, well, I had to turn down uh, Kenny's radio so we could film in here, but I don't think he'll mind. Um, the last time I was in here, he was actually moving stuff around and new stuff on the shelves uh, in preparation for the meet and greet so I didn't really have a chance to look around there's some little <laughs> Shawnee owls oh, that's kind of fun I like the, um, the design on it I think there's supposed to be flowers I'm going to check the price on that so this is an insert, it looks like. And his price on that is only $16. He is running a discount. I think his discount is 20%. So that's just different and funky. Not one I've seen before. Great for St. Patrick's Day. Well, we're cutting it close. All right, so I think that's all we're going to get out of Kenny's booth today. I am going to check out a few booths down here and then we're gonna round the corner and head towards the checkout. This booth is always so fun, and I just noticed that um, they have some more of these little creatures here. But not only do they have more of the little creatures, this one is actually popcorn. And uh, for those of you who have been with the channel a while, you know that Juliet is obsessed with popcorn. So I might grab that for her. Then I wanted to come and look at this purse. It's a leather purse, and I'm kind of curious what the design is on it. The horse. Painted and tooled. I think it needs a little bit of conditioning, but I'm not sure what the price is on that. I also like this beaded purse. The pastels are perfect. Like $20. <laughs> a 
that'd be very sweet for Easter. I'm sure Juliet would love to carry that around. I noticed the redware back in this corner and decided I need to come and check it out before we go. 36. Rangers. What is this one? An old Halloween. Hmm. An old forest pottery. I don't think I've heard of that one before. That one's $49.50. These ones are a little bit cheaper. $36 and $40. I don't see any discounts on them. Even if there was just a little discount, I might pick them up and then hold them onto them till Halloween. Because um, I see them do very well around Halloween time, but I'm not really sure I want to invest that right now and then have to hold them. So, okay, I'm walking away. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's it for us. We are going to head up front and I will get back to you guys in the car. All right, well, our total spend there was $557. I feel like we got some pretty decent pieces today. I'm very excited about that bunny moon plate. Um, we picked up a vase that matches it just this past weekend, and it seems to be performing very well on eBay. So I'm excited for the, the square plate. Um, and also the Dalton piece is interesting. I'd like to learn more about it, um, and when we list it, we will do a little research. So. Anyway, um, that was a pretty, pretty good trip, and I am going to end the video here, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So, Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and I've posted a link to that down in the description.